Abraham de Moivre, the celebrated French mathematician, was a fascinating and brilliant individual who left a lasting impact on the realm of probabilities. His contributions laid the groundwork for advancements in various fields such as insurance, finance, and even the life sciences. Amidst de Moivre's impressive achievements, one particularly intriguing and mysterious incident stands out. His ability to predict his own death. Abraham de Moivre was born on May 26, 1667, in Vitry-le-François, France. He was born into a Huguenot family, which faced persecution due to their Protestant faith. Abraham de Moivre completed at least some of his early education in France, before his family fled to England to escape religious persecution. During his formative years in France, he may have received a foundational education in mathematics and other subjects, either through formal schooling or through self-study. In England, de Moivre found a welcoming environment where he could pursue his interests in mathematics and establish himself as a prominent mathematician despite the challenges he faced as a refugee. His contributions to mathematics and probability theory earned him recognition and respect within the English scientific community. When de Moivre arrived in London, he already knew a lot about math. To earn money, he taught math to people privately, either going to their homes or teaching in cafes. After seeing Newton's book, Principia Mathematica, at the Earl of Devonshire's place, de Moivre realized it was much deeper than what he'd studied before. He really wanted to understand it. But because he was busy walking around London to teach his students, he didn't have much time to study. So he tore pages from the book and carried them in his pocket to read during breaks between lessons. There's a story that later in life Newton would tell people to ask de Moivre math questions because he knew more about math than Newton did. Even though the environment wasn't exactly ideal for diving into the Principia, it's pretty impressive how quickly de Moivre got the hang of it. He had his sights set on a math chair, but being a foreigner in England had its drawbacks. Despite dodging religious bias, being French still brought its share of discrimination. Around 1692, de Moivre became friends with Edmund Halley and then with Isaac Newton. In 1695, Halley shared de Moivre's first math paper with the Royal Society. It came from de Moivre's study of fluxions in the Principia Mathematica. The Royal Society published this paper in the Philosophical Transactions that year. Soon after, de Moivre also expanded Newton's binomial theorem into the multinomial theorem. The Royal Society learned about this in 1697 and made de Moivre a fellow on November 30th of that year. Throughout his life, de Moivre remained poor. It is reported that he was a regular customer of Old Slaughter's Coffee House, St. Martin's Lane at Cranbourne Street, where he earned a little money from playing chess. De Moivre kept studying probability and math until he died in 1754. Even after he died, more of his papers got published. As he got older, he felt more tired and needed to sleep longer. It's said that de Moivre noticed he was sleeping an extra 15 minutes each night and correctly figured out the date of his death. He predicted it would be the day when his total sleep time reached 24 hours. That happened on November 27, 1754, and sure enough, he passed away that day in London. They buried him at St. Martin in the fields, but later they moved his body elsewhere. De Moivre led the way in advancing analytic geometry and probability theory, building upon the groundwork laid by earlier scholars, notably Christian Huygens and various members of the Bernoulli family. Additionally, he authored the second-ever textbook on probability theory titled The Doctrine of Chances, a method of calculating the probabilities of events in play. 
This book was released in four editions. The first in Latin in 1711, followed by English editions in 1718, 1738, and 1756. In the later editions, de Moivre incorporated his previously unpublished findings from 1733. These findings marked the initial formulation of an approximation to the binomial distribution using what is now known as the normal or Gaussian function. It represented the earliest method for determining the probability of an error occurring within a specified range, based on the variability of the distribution. Additionally, it introduced the concept of calculating the probable error. Furthermore, de Moivre applied these theories to address gambling problems and develop actuarial tables. De Moivre also wrote an article titled Annuities Upon Lives, where he uncovered the normal distribution of mortality rates across various ages. He then devised a simple formula to approximate the revenue generated by annual payments based on a person's age, similar to the formulas used by insurance companies today. De Moivre is also remembered for his formula for cosine x plus i times sine x to the power of n. This formula took trigonometry into analysis and was important in the early development of the theory of complex numbers. It appears in this form in a paper which de Moivre published in 1722, but a closely related formula had appeared in an earlier paper which de Moivre published in 1707. In 1749, Euler proved this formula for any real n using Euler's formula, which makes the proof quite straightforward. This formula is important because it relates complex numbers and trigonometry. Abraham de Moivre never married and didn't have any children. He lived a solitary life, primarily focused on his mathematical pursuits. Throughout his life, he faced financial struggles, often relying on the generosity of friends and the income from playing chess to make ends meet. Despite his personal challenges, he left an indelible mark on the world of mathematics and probability theory. Thank you.